Hello everyone, my name is David Pixmeister. Welcome back to View on Fire. This is our second episode and today we're going to learn about how to set up our Vue.js project for different environments. Last episode we already separated our environment variables like the Firebase project ID or the Firebase API key from our code base by putting them into a .env file. But we still didn't differentiate between different environments, so the same project ID and API key are loaded on our production environment as well as on our development environment. Today we're going to change this. So first we will create a new Firebase project through the Firebase web interface, which we will use from now on for development. We click on add project, enter the project name, which will be in our case view-app-dev, then we select again our analytics and billing region. So again, that's for me, Austria. Then we click continue and create project on the next page. So this will create a new Firebase project. And then we just wait until our new Firebase development project is ready. We click continue to get redirected to the dashboard. And then we can see on the Add Firebase Studio web app our new API key and our new project ID. Next, we're going to open our code editor and here we can see the .end file we have created last time. This file contains our project ID and our API key, which is going to be used in our Firebase app initialization. One very important note here, all keys which we want to have available on our view client need to start with view underline app. That's why it's called view app Firebase project ID and view app Firebase API key. The .env file is loaded for every environment. So we can put all keys into this file, which we want to have available for all environments. As for our case, we want to have different Firebase projects for our different environments. So we are just going to split that up. First, we're going to create our .env production file, which we will add in our root folder and call .env.production. Since we already have our production keys in our .env file, we just copy these entries from our .env file to the .env.production file. Then we are going to create another .env file for our local development environment and we're going to call it .env.local. We will just paste the content from the original .env file to this file as well and then we're just going to exchange the project ID and the Firebase API key from our newly created project. So let's just copy the project ID from our Firebase project we just created through the web interface and exchange it in our .env.local file. And we're going to do the same for our Firebase API key. Another very important fact here, our .env.local file is always our local file and it's not being committed to our version control, as you can see here in our .gitignore file. So this is always on our local system and it's not going to be committed to your repository. So we are almost done here. We just need to check if everything is working as expected. So let's just open our Firebase app.js file and we will lock the Firebase project ID to our browser console to check if the correct project is initialized once we open our view app in the browser. Next, we will just open our console and we can check our available Firebase projects through the Firebase list comment. We can see that we now have two projects, view-app and view-app-dev available. Since the production project is currently active, we will just build our view app with yarn build for production. Once that is done, we will just deploy it to Firebase with the Firebase deploy comment. Next, we will change our local Firebase project to our development projects by just typing in Firebase use view minus app minus dev. If we enter the Firebase list comment again, we can see that now the view minus app minus dev project is now active. Next, we can spin up our local dev server again with yarn surf. 
and then we will open our browser and first we will enter the URL of our hosted Firebase application. We're going to open the browser console and here we can see that our Firebase production project ID is being used correctly. And we're going to do the same for our local server. So let's just open our local host URL, open the browser console and here we can see that our dev project ID view minus app minus dev is being used. That's it for now. Please leave a like, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode of View on Fire. Thanks for watching and see you soon on this channel.